welcome everybody to Enter the Bunker, launching you into thriving in today's day and age. My name is Jonathan Baha'i, I'm the co-host of this show and the owner of the 64,000 square foot nuclear bunker, which you have just entered in space, apparently. <laughs> Here at Enter the Bunker, we give you the building bricks to build your own personal bunkers of be, so that you can thrive with things like wonder, courage, inspiration, and respect, and other great things that make us human and allow us to be able to thrive in today's world. Skydiving. It's skydiving, skydiving. apparently. I am very up in the air right now. Is that you? It's my face, I can ah! tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kelly Goodell, also co-host of the show. Now let's let's talk about this. Okay. <laughs> at first, when I first glanced at it, I thought it was Elon Musk for some reason. I was just like, oh, they put Elon he Musk in the so air. He looks so happy. And, and then I just like looked closer at him. I'm like, wait a minute, that's me. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> How did I get up there? What am I doing skydiving? Would you have Thumbs the courage up. to actually do that? 100%. I'd love to go skydiving. Yeah. I don't know if my wife would let me, but um, I I'd love to. Yeah. You can do that in the valley. In the valley. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. There's like a place, and they you have to go on a, like a few training classes first. Okay. And then you're eventually allowed, because then you get hooked to somebody to go for your first few times. Here's the only part I'm not excited about. Of course, you do. You got to get the video, right? You got to get the selfie of you going down and screaming your your head out, right? Going, oh my gosh, right? <laughs> but what happens to everybody, no matter who it is, their face turns into like a piece of paper or something, and just starts to flap around in the in the wind, right? So. I'm just wondering what I'm going to look like if I go down and how it's going to look on the video as my, as my skin's just being peeled back to like, to the back of my head. Like I just, that's well, the, that's the one like, part I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm going to look like so ridiculous with my face just going like that. Have you seen it? You see it. You see it all the time. <laughs> yeah. You don't look like that. You don't look, you look there. I'm just happy and my face is all together. That's what happens when you That's because you got a helmet on there. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that'd be a good one. Just wear a helmet and then it can't. That. I'm, I'm anti-helmet. I don't, I don't like wearing helmets. I'm anti-helmet. So. All right, guys, if you're watching from Twitch, be sure to go to at Enter the Bunker on YouTube. Uh, join us there. Chat with us live right now. And uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell so you, well, so you know when we go live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1130 Eastern Standard Time. Where is that? Do you know where this is, the picture, Matthew? No. It's just somewhere in the world. Somewhere in the world. You said space at first, but they're just in the sky. Interesting. But you kind of look like you're dressed like a space guy. No, I just, yeah. That is so, that's a good one. Ready Giving to the thumbs launch. up. Yeah. yeah. Ready to launch and have the courage to do that. Yeah. And I suppose it would take courage to want to skydive. Yeah. For a lot of people, it does. Yeah. Uh, do you think it'd be courage for you or bravery? None. I'm always the person who's like first to jump into something. So bravery. You, you're I, brave I, enough to do that then. Yeah. You wouldn't need courage to, do, to go skydiving. I wouldn't need courage, no. Like for example, when, uh, so I went to Thailand a few years ago to visit my family. Yep. Because I have family in Thailand. Yep. And one of the things they had there was they had a boa, like you go through uh, the malls there, in some of the malls, they have these like all these exotic animals that you could actually see and be yep. able to touch and things like that. And there was this giant, yellow white boa constrictor yeah right yeah and everybody was looking at it freaking out and i'm just looking at this like i can't wait to get my hands on that thing <laughs> I, was like, I was just like so excited and so then finally and so then like as soon as we had a chance to be able to go and try i was like yep i'm going and i just went right up and i grabbed and, and i had him like wrap around me and grabbing it and it was all over me and it was amazing. Yeah. And I, I just, I'm always the first to like jump in to be like, I got I to gotta, I gotta try that. Let's do it. Yeah. I'd rather go skydiving for sure than jump off like a cliff into like the falls or something. Because there's some falls around here that have some pretty high cliffs. And I don't think I could, I don't think I'd have the courage to do that. Well, as long as you, if you've ever done it before. Then... I have when I was younger, but like, I feel like I definitely had more courage when I was younger. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, when you're younger, is it bravery or courage? Bravery. Yeah. And, it's, and then it turns into courage as you get older. That's right. Huh. I yeah. actually never thought of that. Um, Russell says, I'd rather go skydiving than bungee jumping. Skydiving than bungee jumping. Yeah, bungee jumping doesn't 
look too appealing to me. I think that would take, I would, ha I would have to have some courage to do that, to be honest. I would do either. I'd you wouldn't do either? I would do either. You would do both? Yeah. Okay. I'd, yeah, and I wouldn't have to have courage for it, I don't think. I think it would just be bravery, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what it is about bungee jumping that's just not exciting to me. No? Yeah. I'd... So you get to like fling right back up, it's like, boom! Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I just, I don't get it. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm on the end of a rubber band, like, or I'd just be free falling. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like <laughs> to do both. I'd be happy with either or. Um, you had said something, and I forget what it was, but anyways, hopefully I'll remember it throughout the show. So, so what I'd like to share with you is what Maya Angelou said, which is, without courage, you can't practice any other virtue consistently. Ooh. Yeah. Without courage, you cannot practice any other virtue consistently. Let us know what you think at home, if you believe that's true or if you think that you don't need courage. You don't really need courage. You can just live in fear your entire life and not need to be courageous about anything. And doesn't mean that you can't practice other virtues consistently. Doesn't mean that without courage, you can't have honesty. Without courage, you can't have respect. Without courage, you can't have creativity. Says who? Well, I'm saying it. <laughs> right now but so think about all those things yeah and does it take courage to practice honesty consistently i don't think you don't think so no so it doesn't take courage to consistently be honest like you don't think there's times when you should be honest, but you're oh, not. Okay, I guess. Yeah, see, you just had to open my brain about that. <laughs> yes, definitely then. Okay, I and agree. so do you need to be, for creativity, Right. do you need to be courageous? Think about what happened to famous artists in history who've been killed for the things that they created. True. Or even think about uh, being creative, uh, know, like knowing that you're probably going to be rejected for whatever you're going to introduce. That's true. So you have to be... Got to have courage. Courage. Yeah, to be able to break through that. Yeah. Okay. I actually never thought of it that way. Yeah. Ever. Huh. That's what we're doing here. Yeah. Edge of the bunker. We're building those bricks to help you to be able to realize these things so you can thrive. So if you painted a picture of what courage looks like, what would it be? Whew picture of what courage looks like, what would it be? You know, actually, th again, this comes back to how I've been programmed my entire life. I think of the courageous lion, which comes all the way back from Wizard of Oz, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to my mind if you're going to paint something. Yeah. I think of like a lion yep. is what comes to my head. Yep. But Me too. I don't know if that's going to be the same around the world. They'll probably have different ideas of what courage looks like. Uh, but yeah, I think of a lion. That's oh. what I think of too. Yeah. What do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know. What the, like, what do you guys think? What, what, what would you paint courage as? So, so cur courage is the ability to do something that frightens you. Correct? The ability to do something that frightens you. Yeah. Yes. Um, we actually found a really great article. The article link is in our bio. Be sure to check that out. Um, it's, it, we found it on skillsyouneed.com and yeah, the links in the, the description. So, I guess it, it just it, it kind of talks about um, courage, cour courageness. Cour cour what's the word? Cour <laughs> courageness. That's what's not courageness. I don't know. <laughs> what is the word I'm trying to say? Cour cour just stop, Kelly. Think about it. Courageness. <laughs> courageness. There's a new one there too. We've got two new words here on the show. Look at that. Uh, courageous. So to courageous. be courageous. Yes. What was I saying? Not oh my that. gosh. Not that. <laughs> um, anyways, is there something in life that courage can't help you overcome, do you think? Is there something in life that courage can't help you overcome? Hmm. There's very little. Uh, there, there, there's no, I mean, like everything to overcome, you have to have courage. So I can't think of anything that, that there wouldn't be. I don't know. Maybe somebody else can think Some, of something else. Yeah. Can you guys think of anything? 
in life that courage can't help you overcome? Well, I guess like if you don't need courage, then it's not gonna it's not gonna help you overcome it. Why would you not need courage? Because you're brave and you don't you're not scared. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? Is because there's like difference between like courage and braveness. Cour this is a courageousness. <laughs> courageousness and braveness. There's a difference. Bravery. Bravery. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is a learning channel. <laughs> um, so I guess if you're brave, you don't need courage, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. What, do you think that's true? Yeah, but there has to come a point where you gain bravery out of courage. Because right. you, you're not because you start where you're afraid. Some, and yeah. Oftentimes, yes, yeah, and it takes courage to overcome that. And then once you've done that a number of times, once you've built that experience, then you fire up those synapses in your mind. Your mind has that experience. It says, "Okay, if I do this, then I know that I'm going to be able to do that." Yeah, and then you have bravery. And so with bravery, then you're able to continue on without needing the courage to do it. Right, right. So it's all a matter of being able to gain that experience. And if you don't do it at the beginning with Courage. So courage you're is not gonna get there. what got you to braveness for bravery. Courage is the seed of bravery. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, was there a time that courage helped you overcome something? Or chat, let us know. Was there a time that courage helped you overcome something? Whew. Learning to ski. Learning to ski. <laughs> there you go. I started when I was a teenager. Yeah. Uh, actually, what was I was late compared to most of my friends. Most of my friends were like really experienced skiers yeah and i was like coming in for the first time it was pretty bad yeah i i was i was pretty terrible yeah but i i mean like when you get on the skis for the first time do you ski yeah i i did it in high school and junior high okay but and i haven't since then so when you get on that hill for the first time and you see that slope from the top it's intimidating you're just like whoa right yeah. you're just like holy smokes and the the and many people I, I mean, you've, you've seen it before. Many people actually will just take their skis off and walk down the hill, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, yeah, I'm not going down. I, I'm done, you yeah. know? It takes courage, right? Yeah. So I can remember when I was, like, when I started out, I can remember just, just like, yeah, have it, like, coming off the ski lift even was, like, terrifying. And then having to turn around and get on the slope, like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. Yeah. So actually, I just kept going. When I first started skiing, they just, I think, blading was, I don't know if it was brand new or it was fairly new. So it's like a shorter ski with no poles. Okay. So that's what I, so then you get the feel of like the feet and the carving and that sort of thing. So that's what I had started on. But then I switched to skis after, after but the first couple of times I went, I, I did it on blades. They cool. Called blading. But yeah, that was like, I had to get the, I had to build up my courage. Right. To be able to actually go skiing. Cause like they were, they're intimidating too. The, the skis are humongous. Yeah. And I'm like, are these going to like flip off and like impelt me or... <laughs> Those are the things you're thinking about? <laughs> you okay. Know. I'm thinking about not crashing to anybody. That's or into like thinking. a tree because like act, trees and skiing are, don't usually turn out good. Yes. I've never hit a tree skiing. Oh, I, did, I did have a really bad wipeout one time though and I like took out a couple of ice bowl, like moguls. Oh my god! Like I took them out with my back. Yeah. Like I smashed through them like a meteor. <laughs> it was painful. I remember there was like there's one hill I think it's I forget what the hill's called, but it's like a double black diamond, like trail. So it's Whoa. yeah, it's very really steep, very steep. Yeah, I want to say high head, but I don't know. Maybe you would know because you go there more often. Anyways, my friend was much more experienced than me, and she was snowboarding, and I pretty much just did the whole carve thing the whole way down. Like there was no skiing really. It was just I was so scared, so scared. <laughs> But at least I did it. At least I it. went down it. Yeah, yeah. I had the courage to do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. um, courage governors and overcomes fear and overconfidence. So, fear and overconfidence are generally viewed as undesirable emotions. They make us feel bad either at the time or afterwards. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Well, uh, so courage over fear and overconfidence are generally viewed as undesirable emotions. They make us feel bad. Yeah. So, and I guess going into this, courage helps with fear, but can courage help with overconfidence? Can courage help with overconfidence? Yeah. No. It's the opposite. Right. Yeah. If it's you're overconfident, then... That's more you, bravery. 
yeah. Yeah. Then you're not really needing to have any courage at all. Yeah. Because you're you're too confident. <clears throat> but that's kind of how people get killed. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, like if you're overconfident walking into stuff. Yeah. Then it's almost like you're missing that sense of like fear for self-preservation, maybe. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's actually a good thing in a lot of, in some circumstances. Yeah. Uh, but in other cases, it's just, yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, so we have a weekly challenge this week, and the challenge is take a leap of faith Woo. and do one thing that makes you nervous or that you're scared or that you've been putting off because you're not courageous enough. Um, so use courage to overcome that one thing from holding you and do that one thing that's holding you back. Do that one thing and stop. Use your courage to make it not hold you back anymore and get to it. One thing this week. That's all you need to do. What are you going to do? Just one thing. One thing. Okay. Do one thing that you're scared of doing and see how you feel afterwards. I'm interested to see what everybody else does. I know. Uh, do you have any ideas of what you're going to do? Whew. Well, I know I'm going to be making some new videos this week that I'm, I've been worried about doing. Okay. But I'm going to do them anyway. Yeah. So I think, I mean, like... I don't know if that's really being courageous or not, though, because I, I just I know I got to get them done, and I'm just got to get them done. You know, right? It's you're not, not like, it's not like not I have really, a choice. You're not scared or nervous to get them done. No, I am. Yeah. But okay, well then that is a but, little bit. But you have to. But it's kind of like it has to happen one way or another. So I'm either going to go into it uh, like I'm, not, I'm either going to go into it like being brave or being courageous, uh, regardless. But I just don't have a choice. Maybe I'll try the front flip on the trampoline again. The what? Remember the front flip I tried last year and I skinned my whole face? Oh, yes. <laughs> I haven't tried one since, so maybe I'll try one of those again. Because I'm now I'm too scared I'm going to break my neck. Maybe I'll find something else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you guys let us know what you're going to do as well, because we'd like to follow up with it. and I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, share some stories. Yeah. Um, all right. So... Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, get all those notifications for, so you know when we go live on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, Fridays. for Fun Friday. That's my favorite day. Um, at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. And follow our Instagram because we'll, maybe we can feature some of your courageous acts over this week on our Instagram. That'd be exciting. Sounds good. And you'll see Brandon and I tomorrow on Wednesday at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time to talk, go into more depth about great, you say the word. Courageousness there or we courage? Go. Cur Either or is going to work. Courageness. <laughs> Courageousness, guys. <laughs> Come tomorrow for all of Kellyisms yeah. <laughs> here at Under the Bunker. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Bye.